shout because uh, I can't see myself. Uh, I can only see Oana uh, very big in the screen, <laughs> and then just the black spots right next to it. So, uh, so let me know if anything is not clear. We are going to have a Hatha yoga session today. Um, a bit short on what Hatha means. Hatha is uh, means literally balance. It's actually almost the same meaning as the word yoga itself. Um, ha and ta means sun and moon. So the sun and the moon are in balance. The sun in yoga means your belly. The moon means your head. So your belly and your head is in balance. So your mind and your body is. And that is actually the whole ordeal about uh, this afternoon. So, uh, so that's why we chose Hatha Yoga and also because it's the only yoga I do. Um, what we're going to do today is kind of, a soft, uh, kind of a soft session, which you can do throughout the day whenever you feel like it. Um, but you can do the session or the sequence as intense as you would like it. So if you want it a bit more intense, I will also explain to you how to do that. Um, but try to be kind to yourself, try to be gentle. Uh, yoga is not about is not about hurting yourself, uh, obviously. So don't go over that border. Really stay within the boundaries of your own body and try to really feel those boundaries. It's already a big challenge, I know. Um, we are going to start the session seated today. It's a bit different than uh, what we're normally used to do. Um, but we're going to do it seated. Why? Because we have started off this afternoon um, in a, what Xavier called a lecture. It wasn't really a lecture, but more of a workshop. Um, so probably our necks and our spines are a bit tense. So let's first uh, deal with that and then um, continue our session. So find a comfortable seat. You can lift your cheekbones a bit so that you really feel your sit bones on the mat. Then lower your shoulders really actively down. Make them now, make them really heavy. So you can lengthen your neck as well. And then we're first going to have just a massively big inhale, you know, the biggest one you had all day. You inhale all the way to the top and then you exhale with a big sigh. I always tend to call that my little promise. It's the promise I make to myself that for the next half an hour, it's just me and my mat. So that exhale really strengthens the promise. Now on the, on the next inhale, we're going to lift up our hands all the way up. Lift. And then on the exhale, you're going to put your right hand down and you're going to go all the way over so that you really have a big stretch of your left, left body. And then on the next inhale, you're going to come all the way back to center again. And then on the exhale, you're going to do the same, but on the other side. This feels really good to me. I hope it does to you as well. Now on the next inhale, rise all the way up again. And exhale, take it down. You can really let it rain down, you know. Really get into your body, feel with every movement what is happening. Then on an inhale, we're going to lift the shoulders all the way up. Really lift, 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 lift until you feel the exhale coming and you go again with a sigh. Do that again, lift. And exhale with a sigh. All right. Now again, lift up the hands on an inhale. And then on an exhale, we're gonna bring our hands to the back of our bodies. I'm gonna turn just so you can see it better. So bring your hands to the back. Interlace your fingers. Straighten out the arms. Inhale again. And on the exhale, you're gonna bring your fist 
all the way to the left side of your body so that, that you have again a deep stretch of your side body. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. So inhale, stretch out your arms. And exhale, take it to the other side. Keep your shoulders down while doing that. Let's do it again. Inhale. And then exhale to the left. Inhale straight. And exhale to the left, to the right. And inhale, loosen it up. Relax. And then let's come to a standing position. All right, you can stand and on the middle of your mat, doesn't really matter where. Uh, just make sure that you plant your feet really firmly into the floor. So you can so lift your heels, your toes, really feel that you're there with all corners of your feet. Yeah, you can do like a one eye, a little, a little shift, a little, a little dance, just to feel that you're firmly planted in the floor. All right, and then on an inhale, we're going to do the same as we did while seated. So lift up the hands, keep the shoulders down. And then on the exhale, watch it. We're first going to bend our knees and then we're going to go all the way down into a yoga squat. So our buttocks is not going to land on the mat. It's just going to hover a bit above the mat. If you feel like your uh, heels are lifting, no problem, keep them lifted, it's not an issue. The big idea here is that you really relax your spine, but keep it long, you know, you, your, your back stays long and straight. Yeah, perfect. And then inhale, come all the way up again. Let by your hands and exhale down. We're gonna do it again, inhale. your shoulders down and then exhale come down again into your squat do that slow and with control on the inhale come up and exhale down and then one one more time really make it yours inhale Exhale. Inhale, come all the way up. And then exhale. All right, feel it out a little. Probably you're already feeling your blood flowing a bit more. That's good, that's the whole idea. Now we're going to go to the front edge of our mat and we are going to dive into some warrior poses. Uh, you know, Steve mentioned before the superhero pose that it works. Uh, it's a bit the same idea for um, warrior poses, especially the first and the second one are really supposed to give you strength, confidence um, and to really get you connected with your body. So uh, without further ado, let's dive right in. Again, have your feet um, on hip width apart. On an inhale, we rise up again. Shoulders stay down. And then on the exhale, bend your knees and come into a forward fold. It's Uttanasana pose. Let your head hang. And then on the inhale, you're going to lift up your right foot and take a big step all the way to the back and then you're going to plant it sideways onto your mat. You're going to use your exhale to really plant your feet firmly and then on an inhale you're going to have your big massive rise into warrior one pose. 
don't make it small. You know, you're not serving anyone by being small. Really make yourself big. You're grand, you're a warrior, and you're here for yourself. Breathe. Feel your lungs being filled with oxygen. Take really deep breaths. Feel how your feet are firmly planted into the floor. And then you're going to use your exhale to really slowly come into a warrior two pose. So you're going to straighten out the arms, stretch out your fingers, make them wide, and then look just above your hand. No, follow your middle finger and look. Don't put your shoulders up, just really actively keep them down. And breathe. Here again, think big. No, don't, don't be small. Keep breathing. And as, as if it were supposed to proceed, put your hands onto your hips, put your feet forward, so pointed forward, your toes are pointed forward, and then bend your knees again and come into what we call a superhero pose. So really get out your cactus arms, make sure your back it, or your spine is straight. Make yourself big. Think superhero. Because that is what you are. You can close your eyes to make it even more affirmative. And on the exhale, lower your arms again onto your hips. And then you're going to face your toes of your right foot forward and come into your warrior one pose on the other side. So again, inhale, make yourself big and come into your warrior. Keep breathing. If you want to, you can get a little deeper into the pose. Really use your breath for that. And if your neck and your spine allows you to, you can look up. And on your next exhale, back to warrior two pose again straighten out the fingers the arms make yourself long keep breathing And then on your next exhale, you're going to cartwheel all the way down. So you're going to plant both hands slowly onto the mat. And then you're going to come into your plank pose. Anyone who has practiced with me knows that I always, I always have a plank pose. Once you're here, you have a decision to make. Listen to your body to know what the right decision is. So either you go really slowly towards the floor and you use your inhale to come into your upward dog position. Second option is go really slowly all the way onto the mat and use your inhale to come into a cobra position. 
same thing. Third option is first lower your knees and then come slowly onto your mat. And again, use your inhale for a cobra. None of these are better than the other. Just see what suits you, what serves you best. The only thing you do not want to do is this fall onto your mat. Because your body won't like that. Okay? So, have your decision made and let's go. We use the exhale to come down. The inhale to come up. And then on the next exhale, we meet again in downward facing dog. So really have your hands planted into the mat. Your spine is long. You're making yourself big again. And you're gonna take a really big inhale. And a long exhale. And then with empty lungs, you're going to make a step forward, come into your Uttanasana pose. So again in the forward fold. And then on the inhale, you're gonna rise all the way up. And exhale. Okay, really cool you guys. I can't see all of you, I can only see Wana, but from what I see, it's going really well. <laughs> all right, so since yoga is all about balance, we need to balance it out and do the exact same thing on the other side. So we again go on the inhale, we rise all the way up. We use the exhale to come in Uttanasana, so forward fold. Really let your head hang. And then we use the inhale to take a big step backward with our left foot now. And also shift that heel so you have your true warrior feet. And then on your next inhale, you're going to rise all the way up, make yourself big, and be the best warrior you can be. Keep breathing. And if your neck allows you to, then look up. On your next exhale, come into warrior two pose. Straighten out the arms, make yourself long. Keep breathing. And then your next exhale, place both hands on your hips. Your feet are going to turn forward. Keep a bend in your knees and then have yourself some cactus arms because here is your superhero. Keep breathing. If you feel the little shakiness in your legs, it's perfect. It's the prana, the life energy running through your bodies. So let's all just be happy it happens. Let's be happy with the bodies that were given to us. And then lower your hands again on the exhale. Make sure your feet turn out again so you have your warrior pose legs again and then use the inhale to shift your hips forward and come into your warrior one 
Make yourself big. Keep breathing. Again, use your exhale to come into warrior two pose. Straighten out the arms. Then on the next exhale, you're going to cartwheel it all the way down. Plant both hands into the mat and come gently into your plank pose. So really focus on that plank. And again, you have the same decision to make. So either you slowly go down to the mat and come right up in upward facing dog or you use your cobra. So slowly all the way to the mat and then inhale, rise up. And then exhale, we meet in downward facing dog. Breathe it out on and on. Again, take a really deep inhale. And a long exhale. And then with empty lungs, go all the way to the top of your mat and use your inhale to rise all the way up. And then exhale. And once you're exhaled, try not to fidget. Try not to touch your hair or your t-shirt or anything. Just see if you can observe what is happening. Maybe you can feel your heart beating a little faster. Maybe you're in need for a deep breath. See if there's anything to observe. To uh, go towards the end of the session, I know half an hour goes really, really fast in yoga. Um, let's sit on your sit bones again, put your legs straight. What we're going to do now is called Paschimottanasana for the people who uh, like the Sanskrit terms. It's actually the same as we did before, like forward fold, but just from another perspective. Um, in, low, in yoga, we like to change perspectives. Um, I believe it's a, it's a bit of a, a life uh, metaphor. Uh, so it helps to uh, change perspectives. Um, and with what we're doing here today, I, uh, I thought it was quite appropriate to do that together with you guys. So uh, how you approach this is you make your spine long again, as if you would be standing up. You use your inhale to take your hands all the way up. Don't have it too straight. Don't be too fixated on it. Just have your hands up. And then on the exhale, you're going to slowly move forward. And you're going to see where you land. It's perfectly possible that this is where you're landing today. And that's really good. You can also land here or maybe even here. See what is working for you, but don't overdo it. And try to find some ease once you're there. Try to find some comfort 
in this pose. Make your neck long again. Have your chin slightly tucked in towards your chest. Your shoulders are down. And then we're going to try to make use of our exhale to get a little bit deeper into the pose. So every time you inhale, you're going to feel like your chest is lifting up a little. And on the exhale, you're letting it all out and you're taking it down. Just do that a couple of times, a couple of breaths in your own time. And see what happens. Just observe. Now on the inhale, you're going to slowly rise up, all the way up. You can let your hands really go over your legs to come all the way up. Breathe. Be mindful about the way you transition from one pose to the other, that is very important in yoga. And then you're going to end up with a cross-legged position. I am not going to end with a breathing exercise or a shavasana since uh, we have mindfulness champions after this. We're going to take you through a body scan and a breathing exercise. So I'm going to be a bit more swifty in, in my roundup. What would be good is we have another inhale, we rise all the way up again with our arms up. And then on the exhale, we're going to do the same as we just did with our legs straight, but towards the floor. So your hips are going to stay on the mat, your legs are going to stay cross-legged, and you're just going to tilt your chest all the way forward. And you're again going to see where you land with your hips firmly planted onto your mat. Your sits bones are heavy and you're just looking at where you're landing. And you're breathing in and out and you're using your exhale to get deeper into your pose. for that and then we're gonna inhale one last time make it a good one have a big stretch you can act as if no one is looking really go stretch it out be a little goofy about it I know you want to so just do it you know no one is watching and then we're gonna use the exhale to bring our hands to our hearts you can have your chin down just a little bit and with that, I send all my love and gratitude to you. Thank you for being here. Namaste.